Today I will be discussing the poem titled Common Ground by Judith Ortiz Kofer, which is found on page 836 of our textbooks. I'm only going to give you a quick summary of the author's background due to the lack of time, but it's important for you to know that she was born in 1952 in Puerto Rico and moved with her family to Patterson, New Jersey four years later, although they quite often traveled back and forth. Much of her work is based upon her childhood experiences and the conflicts that arose by living two cultures. A quick summary of her earlier years include, as stated previously, she was born on February 24, 1952 in Hormigueros, Puerto Rico and moved to the U.S. four years later. In 1967, she moved to Augusta, Georgia and attended Butler High School. She received a B.A. in English in Augusta College and then an M.A. in English from Florida Atlantic University. She also did graduate work at Oxford University in 1977. In 1984, she became a professor of English and creative writing at the University of Georgia in Athens, which she still continues today. A short list of her works and accomplishments include The Year of Our Revolution, which won the Patterson Book Prize, The Latin Deli, which was awarded the Annisfield Wolf Book Award, Terms of Survival, Silent Dancing, Peregrina, Latin Women Pray, and lastly, this September, she was inducted into the Georgia Writers Hall of Fame. The poem Common Ground is from her book titled Silent Dancing, A Partial Remembrance of a Puerto Rican Childhood, which is a memoir. Common Ground. Blood tells the story of your life and heartbeats as you live it. Bones speak the language of death and flesh thins with age when up through your pores rises the stuff of your origin. These days, when I look in the mirror, I see my grandmother's stern lips speaking in parentheses at the corners of my mouth of pain and deprivation I have never known. I recognize my father's brows arching in disdain over the objects of my vanity, my mother's nervous hands smoothing lines disappearing on my skin, like arrows pointing downward to our common ground. The poem was written in 1987 when traditional women's roles became very untraditional to that of their mothers and grandmothers. Due to the background information, I believe the poem takes place in either New Jersey or Puerto Rico. The setting is probably inside a home, but it is unclear other than the speaker looking in the mirror stating, quote, I recognize my father's brows arching in disdain over the objects of my vanity, end quote. This line ties back into Kofor's cultural assimilation and her father's disapproval of social norms linked with American vanity. Common ground is told in the first and second person point of view, with Kofor being the speaker as most likely a teenager. I believe this because the poem came from Silent Dancing, which is a memoir. As humans, we naturally share a common ground because we all experience life, aging, and death. The themes of the poem are cleverly tied back into the title. Common ground is unique because the theme is a coming of age in a physical sense rather than the typical emotional one. Another central idea of the poem is death. The connotations of bones in Bones Speak the Language of Death and the facial lines described as arrows in as arrows pointing downward to our common ground hint at the themes of aging and mortality. The last line of the poem, which I just stated, could possibly mean two things. One, it could mean that the arrows point down to our common ground as human beings, meaning earth. Or two, it could signify the common ground of being buried under the ground, in other words, death. The narrator uses imagery to describe the aging processes with Phrases such as flesh thins and parentheses at the corners of my mouth. Kofor's uses of poetic diction paint a visual picture of the processes of life. The and first aging. poem is divided into two by relation. The first half addresses the general human being population using the pronouns you and your. The second half is written in a lyrical form and relates to the speaker's personal observations and thoughts using the pronouns I and mine. This style relates back to the common ground shared by the speaker and the reader. Kofor also uses syntax in the stand-up quote, flesh thins with age when up through your pores rises the stuff of your origin, instead of just simply stating the origin of your stuff rises up through your pores. Kofor's practical, nonchalant tone evoked a feeling of melancholy for me. The speaker views aging and death as merely courses of life, stating the facts while never mentioning her own personal opinions. Common Ground is a wonderful poem that symbolizes and calmly touches upon the stages of life for every human being. I hope my presentation was helpful, and if you have any questions, just email me. Thanks!